Hello, in this video we're going to be drawing an image using services. We'll be using the load BMP method. Built in you can only load BMPs but we will cover how to load different format images in a separate video. So first of all you want to make sure you've got some sort of BMP image. We've already got one and you want to make sure you've got it saved right here like main.cpp and I've got it hello world.bmp it's just an image of sonic that i got off google it's actually a jpeg that i resaved as a bmp so first of all what you want to do is create a couple of sdl surfaces so sdl underscore surface and so it would be asterisk image surface equals null we'll be initializing these a little bit later on i'm going to be sdl surface asterisk window surface and the window surface will essentially be the surface that we're going to get from our window that we've already created here and you can think of it almost like a canvas to draw on and we're going to set this to null now what you want to do is go to window surface equals sdl underscore get window surface now provide the window that you want to get the surface for semicolon once you've done that, we can actually start loading our image. I will do that just before the while loop. You just want to put image surface equals SDL underscore load BMP. First parameter is the source file. We don't actually care about the second parameter as of now. So keeping it very simple. So for this, for the source file, it's just hello world or the path to it. If it's in a folder, you put the folder name forward slash then the name of the file dot b m p and actually it's, it's not bmp raw it's just bmp sorry my bad so that is the correct method load bmp not the other one that i accidentally was going to use now you want to check if the, the image surface has loaded so you just do if no equals image surface if it doesn't equal image surface then it has successfully lo successfully loaded if it does you just want to do see out sdl could not load image and then you just put the sdl error so sdl error and to get the error all you have to do is sdl underscore get error like so I'm going to put a end line now. End line. Now, the only, well, I'll say two more things to do is to actually draw it and clean up. So, here, after you've checked for any events, you want to do SDL underscore blit surface. So, this is the drawing method. It takes four parameters. First thing is what you're drawing, so the image surface. Next is a rect for your image surface. We're not dealing with rects at the moment. We'll be covering that in a later video. Next, you want to specify the canvas or the surface that you're drawing to. And remember, it's called window surface. And you just provide a rect for this. But we're not dealing with that, so we're just providing no. Next, you want to update the window surface so you can actually see the new content. So update window surface. And you just need to provide one parameter which is the window that you're updating. Now finally, we're gonna do some cleaning before we destroy our window. So SDL underscore free surface. Now you need to specify the surface that you're freeing. Just duplicate this for the window surface. Window, you wanna do image surface equals null. Window surface equals null like so and now we're ready to run it so let's run it and see what we get we get nothing in our application and if let's say we were to open up a debug window so activate console we get sdl could not load the image and the reason for that is for xcode for something like visual studio you should be all good just for printing it with your cpp file you should copy it over sometimes xcode doesn't copy it over to where your executable is generated so to just copy your any assets over right click 
this file within products, which is the debug executable. I click it, go show in Finder. This is our application. If you were to copy and paste that into here, and now if you were to rerun the application, we actually get our BMP image drawing to the surface. So that's it, just a very simple tutorial on how to draw a BMP to a window surface. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that, plus a link to our GitHub page, which will have the source code from every video in this series. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave us a comment. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.